A lot of people are surprised that peaceful conflict resolution isn't already a course of study. They say it's about time and it's good that it starts in school because you can't always depend on parents. I think that's a great idea. I think it's past due <laughs> to, you know, just teach kids how to resolve their problems without violence. Yeah, it makes sense. But they can also learn at home. So it doesn't hurt to have extra help. But it starts at home. I think if you start in school, um, then you'll definitely make sure that the kids are getting this information because um, you can't always depend on the parents. Baltimore County Delegate Harry Bendari came up with the idea of a Peace and Conflict Studies course after witnessing the deadly shooting of a 17-year-old student at Mervo last September. I was on third floor. I watched that student dying and he had a school bag back and bleeding on the floor. I was very much angry and my anger has a purpose, like to do something. The delegates bill requires the course to be taught by a certified mediator. The studies are expected to help students develop listening, mediation and negotiation skills. The curriculum also includes instruction on topics such as cybersecurity, environmental justice and social work. Schools may establish partnerships with community remediation centers to assist students in completing eight hours of community service dedicated to conflict resolution. This is our responsibility. We can't just blame the kids. So we need to give them a tool how we can resolve the conflict. The bill comes with a hefty price tag, $21 million, but that includes hiring and training mediators for 262 high schools across the state. The bill sponsor believes the legislation will save lives. According to police so far this year, five teens under the age of 17 have been fatally shot, 18 others wounded by gunfire. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.